Joe White. I'm standing in our newly plastered bedroom. Today I'm going to show you how to apply mist coat to the wall, which is a watered down undercoat of paint, which you really need to do before you apply your final coat of emulsion, because otherwise the emulsion is likely to peel off. Okay, in today's tour kit, we've got bucket to mix paint in. You want to start off with a really cheap contract matte emulsion. This is Armstead trade. No point going for an expensive paint because you're only watering it down. We've got a bucket to mix it in and drill. Now don't laugh at this, this is an improvised mixer from one of the kitchen whisks. Normally I use a paint mixer like this but I haven't got that with me today so I'm going to show you how you can improvise to achieve just as good a result. I've then got a roller on an extension arm. I find the extension arms pretty really useful because you don't get so splattered in paint as you're applying it to the wall. And I've just got a standard paint roller. Details of all the tools that I'm using today will be available in the description at the end of the video. I've also got a paintbrush for going into the corners. Now one of the reasons you'll be tuning into this video is because you'll be wondering what ratio of paint to water you should be applying. This is quite a tricky one and you'll see a lot of information out on the internet about this. Some people recommend a ratio of 70 paint to 30 water or 80 paint to 20 water. Personally, and I've painted quite a lot of new plaster um, in my time, I go for a 50-50 ratio of paint to water. It's a nice simple ratio to mix out because you can estimate by eye pretty easily 50% 50, 50 paint, 50% water. And also, my mantra when I'm doing a mist coat is you want it to be as runny as you dare, really, because you really want that paint to sink into the new plaster. So I find a 50% ratio of paint to water works really well. So, in goes the paint. Turn it to an exact size if you want by literally getting a measuring jug. But when you're using a 50 50 ratio like I am, it's pretty easy to estimate roughly half of each. And now I'm just going to mix it up. Okay, now we've done that, we can pour it into the mixing tray. That's the sort of consistency we've got. You can see that. I'm getting a nice amount of paint from the tray onto the roller. And now I'm just going to start drawing it onto the ceiling. I think this coat is going to be a really messy job, but actually with the right materials like this, you can get it done reasonably quickly and without too much mess. Using the paintbrush now to get into this difficult to reach so it's a day later, the paint's completely dry, and even though I put on quite a watery mix, 50-50 ratio of paint to water, it's actually achieved a really good covering. The perfect base coat on which we can now paint the final two coats of emulsion. So I really hope you found this video useful. Please like it below if you, if you think it's been useful. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link.